A disposable paper cup has a shape of a cone. The volume of the cone is V in cubic centimeters, the radius is R in centimeters, the height is H in centimeters, and the slant height is 5 centimeters. Recall that the volume of a cone is V equals 1 over 3 pi R squared H. In part A, derive a function, V of R, that expresses the volume of the paper cup as a function of R. The volume of a cone, V equals 1 over 3 pi R squared H, has two variables, H and R. Our goal is to write the volume formula so it only has one variable, R. We can accomplish this by using the Pythagorean theorem to express H in terms of R. We can draw a triangle with side lengths of R and H. The hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. The triangle gives us H squared plus R squared equals 5 squared. Subtract R squared from both sides of the equation. Square root both sides of the equation to get h equals plus minus the square root of 25 minus r squared. We can't have negative heights, so reject the negative case. Now write the volume formula. Replace h with the square root of 25 minus r squared. The volume formula now has only one variable, r. We can write it as v of r equals 1 over 3 pi r squared times the square root of 25 minus r squared. Now we'll move on to part b. Graph the function from part a and explain the shape of the graph. Use technology to graph the volume function. When r equals 0, the cone has no radius, so its volume is 0. The volume gradually increases as the radius increases. Use the maximum feature of your graphing calculator to get the point 4.08, 50.38. When the radius is 4.08 centimeters, the cone has its maximum volume of 50.38 cubic centimeters. When r equals 5, the cone is a flat disk, so its volume is 0. The volume decreases rapidly as the cone collapses to a disk.